aí, rapaziada, que está sintonizada na, na nossa telinha. Hoje temos a, uma banda finlandesa que tem o um pé no rock e no hard rock também. A banda Steve Seagal, que está fazendo um show aqui na cidade de, de Viena, no, na casa de show chamada Flax. Galera, com vocês, Steve Seagal. Hello, how are you guys? Very good. good. Very good. Hello, hello. Mega pleasure having you guys on our channel. Thank you. So, I'd like to ask you guys first to introduce yourselves. Okay, Pukki, play the upright bass, some vocals. And I'm Remmel, I play acoustic guitar, mandolin, and I do vocals also. How did you guys start it? Where and when as well? Well, 2010. Yeah, okay, that started the whole thing. That was originally just something on the side, different lineup a bit, and uh, sort of had different instruments as well. Evolved just little by little, and then we've been doing this thing with the current lineup for the past what, four or five years now. Since 2013, September, I think. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. yeah. So it's over five years. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Little so change on the lineup and maybe switch from semi-acoustic to more like almost fully acoustic. Yeah. Nice. But the lineup of the band is the same, right? The members. The members have been the same for over five years. Now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not an original member. I came in 2013. These guys started it. At first, cool. And uh, and all of you guys from the same place in Finland, or you guys come from different areas? Uh, originally, we come from all over Finland. We have actually, I think, we have somebody representing almost everything other than Lapland. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much. But we ended up studying in the same city called Jyväskylä, early 2000s, and some of us still live in Jyväskylä. And a few of us have left that place, but that's how we met. ended up studying there together. I have you ever thought that you guys would come to this point, like playing like the beginning of the bars of the friends, and then all of a sudden you guys are touring the world? No, I didn't really have expectations to begin with. It was, like I said, just a side project originally, but. When he came aboard, I was we didn't have anything. I mean, not no promo material, no pictures, no videos, no nothing. So it was, we decided it was cheap and easy enough to shoot those kind of acoustic videos and just put them in YouTube, and that's yeah, surprisingly enough, kicked off the whole thing to another level, so to speak. And um, because from what I've seen, it, you guys start off with the YouTube channels, right? Yeah. For the, First videos, so guys pretty much just got together. Okay, let's let's play. Let's record some videos and put on YouTube and see what happens. Yeah, I well actually we have been doing gigs here and there, yeah. like clubs, bars, cruise ships, basically anything we could get. But to kind of kick up the whole touring, I mean we were supposed to tour only in Finland, I guess. So. So our banjo player had this idea of an acoustic video, so we we shot that at, at his summer cabin and uh, uploaded it to YouTube to help our booking agent in Finland, but then it started spreading to different web scenes and stuff like that, and it just kind of kicked up from there. So we already have been doing smaller gigs and smaller venues in Finland, but nothing, nothing major. And... Um when more or less you guys start like leaving Finland and going to different places in Europe to, to, to for gigs? First time for us I'd say it was early fall 2015. Or summer, possibly. There was should have been Boston, summer 2015. And Sweden Rock. Yeah. Yeah, true. yeah so 2015 must have been there, yeah. The yeah. summer when we started touring abroad. Yeah, that's May 2015 was the release of the first album. Then. Yeah. Yep. 
was on the hot right? We weren't really prepared. We were kind of <laughs> pants down at that point. We yeah, suddenly holding, started <laughs> holding our stuff in plastic bags <laughs> and airports and these like IKEA bags, bags and, like well, almost kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Not even IKEA bags, the ones you get from grocery stores. You know, yeah. <laughs> so carrying old clothes, old stuff. Hey, <laughs> Steven Seagal, and we here. Yeah. Wow. But I guess that's that's part of us that we don't. I don't know if we're ever, if we'll ever um, reach the point where we'll be like really. Uh, Overshooting with the pro professionalism, I think it's part of us just to just to keep going and you know see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Try to play as tight and good every night. So I guess that's the whole point with us. And uh, I also saw like on YouTube that you guys toured in the United States, right? Mm. Yeah. It was last year. Uh, Last, tour, last September was the last tour, but that was the sixth time. Sixth tour, sixth time. Yeah, we kind of started this tour in September because we released our third album early September, so then we started from the US. Then we toured a couple of months in Finland, uh, UK in December, and then now. Uh, Midway to January, we started from France, this kind of a central European leg of the tour. And how was like touring in the United States? How was the, the people like reception? Yeah, they take it pretty well. Really? Yeah, for some reason they seem to like our stuff. Apparently, we're not like strictly traditional and not sticking to their kind of well, let's. Put it this way, I mean, they, their players, bluegrass players, tend to be real strict about their music and they've, well, they've got the weight of the tradition and all that, so I guess we're sort of free from that. So there's a new angle to it, in a way. Yeah, and sort of a new style too, because the ones that play the traditional bluegrass, they are really, really good at it. Oh, yeah. And like really, uh, they know what they're doing on that field, but since we come from a little bit different angle, as he said, we kind of, maybe we are sort of a refreshing breeze to that kind of a thing, maybe. Yeah, we kind of have to do something else than there. If we were to there type of music. Yeah, if we were to go there to play the traditional bluegrass, we would be like run over. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, it's been surprising, like, since the, even the first tour we did, um, people have been really, really nice and polite towards us and interested about Finland and stuff like that. So it's, it's been good. Uh, yeah, we definitely get more shit back home. Oh, there. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. And, uh, but, and how many states of the, of the US, you guys? We haven't done Hawaii. We Not haven't, Florida. We haven't done. Well, there was Alabama. Yeah. Uh, we haven't been to Florida. We haven't been to. I think we're up to. Thirty. Yeah. Maybe. Sounds That's right. just out of my head. I how it sounded. But yeah. It's a big country, so it's we never. We were never able on one tour to cover the whole place, so that's why, like for example, this time we did part of it in September, and now we're going back next month for four weeks. So we're doing Texas and the western part of the country. So it's it's easier because if you want to cover the whole place, you it, it takes about two months or something. Every day on the road, every day on yeah. the state. Yeah. But it's been good in general. In there, it's yeah. and building little by little. We started from really small, small bars and small venues. And the last time we were there, I think the biggest one was like 900. Yeah, something like that. So little by little. Yeah, it's gradually growing. Yeah, it takes some time. Yeah, like.
How did you guys give me this idea of getting bluegrass music with rock? Well, the idea itself is actually nothing new. It's been done before, not exactly the same way, so we kind of try and put our own spin on it. The whole thing was with a bunch of bands that have been doing sort of the same thing. Sort of. Because you guys have a unique sound, a unique look, so it's something that someone sees you guys, oh yeah, I've seen the band before. It's something you guys do, it's, it's catch for you. Well, I'm glad you feel that way. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> nice to hear that. Maybe we, maybe we have a different in influence into it since we have a we have a drum kit, accordion, and our accordion player plays the accordion pretty differently. It's pretty aggressive, kind of replacing the electric guitar wall of sound, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you guys started it with. A little bit different, like maybe towards okay, spaghetti western type of. There's like Telecaster there, and then yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, a bit more like electric instruments. Mm -hmm. But those have well, we had which just about every electric instrument that we had. But it it seems to be kind of the essence of the group that we keep kind of trying to fix up with new ideas the whole time. So it's kind of. Evolving, evolving all the time, yeah. 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 yeah, it would be nice to keep it that way too. That, you know. yeah. Guys, another one. The outfit, the red man outfit. I've never seen anything like this. Actually, I've seen the back in the 80s, there was a uh, Australian TV thing called probably Yahoo or something, Young Guys thing, and he dressed like that with the hands. So tell me, how did you guys can come up with this outfit? One has a, what do you call it, a fox hat. <laughs> and God, tell me. Because... Well, yeah, to be honest, I think originally we were just trying to go as far off from the idea that they were trying to sell at us. We had some office. Well, they, they had ideas about 10 gallon steads and them. Hay bales and western boots and all that kind of shit. We sort of thought, fuck it. <laughs> it's, let's do something else. It's, that's sort of natural. I mean, half of the stuff we have is just old clothes. I, yeah, sometimes it feels like when we're walking somewhere, just grab something. And you know, oh, there's a shirt. Yeah, at least it's ugly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh,. Somebody once asked that, who is your stylist? And we don't have a stylist. <laughs> Our stylist is alcohol. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The alcohol is a style. Yeah, it's uh, I seem to use my old uh, jeans when they are worn out. You know, I just cut off the uh, legs the a little legs. bit. Yeah, and that's... It's just easy. Just like, just <laughs> like saves a lot of money. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it gets to that point, you're kind of like, should I fix it or nah? Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Um, bands that influenced you guys, because Finland, as far as I know, is more into metal, trash metal. But you guys seem to have a different influence, a musical different influence, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, metal too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all sorts of different things. I think we have kind of colorful background in music in general. Like everybody's been playing different kinds of music, doing solo gigs, duo, trio, yeah, quartet, backing up Finnish singers, yeah, all kinds of stuff, you know, that you can get your hands on and try to make a living. And I think a lot of a lot of the stuff that's been recorded has something to do, or most of them have something to do with our youth. When MTV in Finland and everything like that, suddenly you have Nirvana and Metallica on TV, and you <laughs> you're taping it on VHS, <laughs> Headbangers Ball. And all I remember that. those days. Oh yeah, those days. It's not exactly a coincidence that we have. I think about half of the songs on the new album are from the '90s. Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty much when all of us grew up. Yeah. Same thing over here. Yeah. Same thing. But I think it also, sorry, I think it also comes from that nowadays we listen to 
a lot of different kinds of music, so it's, I guess that's the influence because it's maybe this sort of a band when you have this instrumentation and this kind of freedom to, you know, we're not strictly in like certain genre or anything, so we can pick up a violin if it feels like it, and that kind of gives the freedom to take influences from Finnish Lumpa or <laughs> and stuff like that. So. Guys, talking about the album, the latest album is Greenfield, right? Mm -hmm. Where was produced, uh, who produced, and how was the process of putting this album together? It was recorded in a place called E Studio. And, uh, well, rural, western coast of Finland, located in a pretty remote place nowadays. It's actually the same studio, sort of, that we recorded the second album in. The recording engineers and say Yuri Rigonen, producer different now, mm. friend of ours. Yeah, a talented fellow called Jarko Vinamaki produced the album. Yeah, we started working on it during the summer. We had like little camps here and there. We would go in for a day or two. Yeah, just to rehearse stuff, record stuff with our phones. Yeah. I think the first like proper rehearsals we had in September. I think so. Our friend has like a cabin village in mid parts of Finland. We went to the cabin there. Yeah, for a couple of days at a time. Uh, a few sessions. Recorded the thing in mostly in January yeah. 2018. So yeah. last year. Yeah. It was about three weeks. I think we did it in three parts. Yeah, about five yeah, days started. in a row. We might have had one or two extra days for additional instruments like pedal steel and violins, but yeah. And in general, uh, this new location of the studio has a really good sounding big room and then smaller rooms, so we were able to record most of the songs so that we had the bass recorded live, the bass of the song, like drums, bass couple of string instruments. Yep. And we did, did whole takes. She kept playing, playing, playing the song until we felt like it's right here, yeah. yeah. And uh, then we started adding a little bit more color to it. So the this tour ends when? Uh, well I suppose we kind of end the club part of it. After yeah. The yeah, after the US like yeah. So then we have some time off, a few weeks off, and then we start doing festivals mid-May, late May. So I think any plans for South America, in show in South America, or nothing? Just do cooking? We'd love to. I mean, we get a lot of uh, messages and people contacting us from, from South America. We've only done two festivals there, one in Brazil and one in Argentina. Guys, are you playing Brazil? Yeah, yeah once yeah, only. But, but I think, well done. Our yeah. <laughs> single most common message we get is come to Brazil. Yeah, we get a lot of messages from there, but you know, it's... It is even further away than the places that we tour now, so we... I think they are trying to build a proper tour that we would actually have the sense to go. There, so we truly hope that we can tour there at some point because, sure. because number one, the flight for whatever Europe to Brazil is 15, 18 hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a long flight. Yeah. And you guys carry a lot of instruments and stuff and have to go to customs. And it's, I know for bands touring like this, mm -hmm. you can do a commercial uh, line. Mm -hmm. If you have a private jet like I don't mean, that's a bit of a short, but that day is something. Yeah. Uh, when you travel like a normal plane, I know it's. Yeah. And um, so, festivals in, in the summer, and mm -hmm. then after that, kind of relaxation, like September, October, November. Oh, uh, back probably, to Finland. And probably just another club tour. Yeah, I think we we keep touring the uh, fall park also, partially in Finland and perhaps something in Canada. 
was pretty hard. Guys are all over. Yeah. <laughs> Usually the time off is like uh, somewhere mid December to mid January. That's when we usually have time off. Which is kind of nice because that's the time when we don't get any sun in Finland. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's dark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We got the darkness. Yeah. We sleep the dark during the day. Yeah. Dark. Yeah. Yeah, the highlight of my vacation, I saw sun. Oh my god, not for me. I was in Helsinki one time and I was like... Yeah, yeah. Where's the sun at? Yep. Guys, um... I would like to leave a bit of the channel uh, for you guys. Um, so you guys can tell the people like South America who don't know you guys, how they can find you, how... We want to see you guys on the, the cameras of course. Well, until we make it to South America, keep watching YouTube. There's uh, some new stuff coming mm. at some point, definitely. And uh, otherwise, all the social media the channels, we will, we will add all the news online. there. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, I guess that's. That's the best way to contact us. And we try to answer every message we get. We actually do that by hand ourselves. So we're usually a bit delayed, but we try to answer every message. So, yep. so we are truly happy for all the greetings and we hope to get to South America soon. See you guys. Yeah. Knock on this guy's door if you guys want to see them in South America. Yeah, yeah and it's always a good yep. reason to come to Finland too. I mean, great. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. Cold was good. Yeah, <laughs> summer is good. <laughs> That's true. Guys, mega pleasure to Thank have you. You, you both in our show. I hope that that goes on and on. I hope I like, see you guys play some way.